Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today and welcome to a, a slightly longer video than what I would normally provide for you. But as you can see by the title, I am trying to kill my January 2019 kit. And it sounds a bit strange because when you say kill a kit, it's not exactly a nice term. But in short, what I'm trying to do is use as much of the kit as I possibly can to create as many layouts as I possibly can. Now I got to two, uh, sorry, I got to 10 layouts um, and was um, fairly happy. I was struggling to use up what was left in the kit. So I did stop. Not only that, but I'm expecting my February kit to turn up any day now. So I am excited to dig into Feb and see what I can come up with. But um, as a bonus for you, you're going to get to see the video that contains the 10 layouts that I put together um, using the January kit. Now, because this video does go for about half an hour, um, I've sort of tried to edit and delete as much that wasn't um, necessary as possible, but there is um, places where I won't be talking. So if it goes completely silent, please be aware that that is supposed to happen. I didn't bother putting any music in the background or anything like that, but there's a couple of times throughout this video where I am going to start to um, chat and talk through. So leave your sound on and have a listen, but mostly just... Um, I'm happy for you to watch along and enjoy these creations. Now at the end of the video I will also give you a run through of the layouts and you'll get to see um, the final products. So this page is actually um, sort of more of a 2019 cover layout. Um, it's all about uh, creating moments and collecting memories and um, some of the things that I want to do more of and, uh, you know, just to remind me to enjoy life. So I did try um, having a fiddle around with a photo to see if I could come up with anything, but it really just wasn't turning out how I wanted. So I ended up, I left the photo off and I just left it as a 2019 cover page. So um, this is where I'm going to let you just watch what's going on and I'll be popping in and out to share some details with you. So enjoy!
Alrighty, so this next layout is a great way to use up lots of little pieces that are left over. So I've cut out a cut file with the Cameo and halfway through my cut, my Cameo decided that it was going to get all warped and lose its positioning and it only cut um, part of the cut file. So you can see that over on the left hand side where it's um, a bit skew if there, what I'm going to do is position my photo there to actually cover up the part of the cut file that didn't work properly. So just because something um, doesn't work completely doesn't mean that you should throw it out and start again. Try and find a way where you can actually um, take a, a, a mistake and turn it into something that you can still use. So this um, cut file I have backed off camera and you can see that I've kind of used lots of the different pattern papers. I mean the orange and the pink really stands out but I wanted it to be quite neutral and because this is a 2019 photo of myself I thought it was a really good one to pop straight into the album um, and with this particular collection. So uh, I just wanted to explain to you exactly what had happened with my cut file and to encourage you not to look at a mistake as something that you need to chuck out but something that you can actually um, salvage and continue to use. Now for this next layout I decided to pull out my watercolours and some watercolour paper and have a little bit of a play around with this um, sticker sheet, uh, what you call the leftovers or the reverse, whatever you happen to call it. And I apologise because I did have a bit of trouble with my video and it managed to um, miss me actually painting that background. But all I've done is used uh, a large wet paintbrush and I've just painted different coloured stripes using the um, similar pattern, uh, sorry, similar colour palette um, from that watercolour um, palette. So it's certainly um, a very simple mixed media background, especially with the just the watercolour stripes, but I really like the way this one turned out. So I'm going to leave you now to have a, a bit of a watch and this one did take a little bit longer to put together, but there are lots of elements on here. So hopefully you've picked up something interesting that you can try on your own scrapbooking.
Alrighty, so remember that cut file that you saw me use earlier that I backed? This is actually the reverse. So when I'm um, using a cut file, once I've peeled the part off um, the sticky mat that I'm actually going to use, I then keep some parts of it on the sticky mat, put glue onto it, and then flip it over and stick it onto a 12 by 12 piece of paper to actually get that sort of reverse cut file. So rather than throwing out your cut files, um, you can actually yeah use those individual pieces and by leaving them on the sticky mat, you don't actually have to worry about realigning them. So you just add some glue, flip the sticky mat over onto a piece of 12 by 12 and that will actually give you that reverse cut file. I normally like to leave mine overnight just to give it that little bit of extra time to actually have the glue sit before I peel the sticky mat off. Um, but certainly, yeah, a fun thing to do is to use that reverse cut file. Now you can also see with this one that off camera I've actually um, uh, made a cluster around the photo and I've used some of the diamantes to fill in these triangles. I'm also going to use the watercolored pencils and just color in some of those triangles. For this I didn't want to be too particular, I wanted it to sort of be a little bit um, messy and just using my water brush to actually mix that color. Once I have done them all, I'm going to add a little bit of stamping and put this final page together. So this will be the last time you'll hear from me during this really long video. If you've made it this far, congratulations, thank you. Um, I will endeavour to keep my videos nice and short in future unless for some reason you uh, commented to tell me that you'd like longer videos. So certainly uh, leave me some comments, leave me some feedback. I always love reading what you guys think of the videos and the projects and the, the you know the elements that we're using. So much appreciated. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you've picked something up from this and of course if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe and check out Kidaholic Kits.